Oh dang, he thinks he's gonna die. Oh, he's fine, he's fine. No, Kevin, wait! The Last Promise is not only the most famous Fire Emblem ROM hack, but it's also one of the very first to be completed and serve as its own original campaign and story, at least in the West. Typically, before The Last Promise, Fire Emblem ROM hacks were limited to challenge map edits and character mods. Heck, that's what The Last Promise started off as, actually, before becoming the legendary fan project that it's known as today. And yeah, it's pretty amazing. Just be sure to keep awake through all of it. Originally released in August of 2013 by Blazer, The Last Promise is a ROM hack of Fire Emblem 7 for Game Boy Advance. It's basically a huge legacy piece of a game for the Fire Emblem ROM hacking community. It didn't start off as a completely original story, world, and collection of characters, but it eventually became that as development progressed. What emerged became one of the most iconic Fire Emblem fan projects of all time, and spawned a story that makes for a legitimately entertaining playthrough. It's now host to iconic characters, the sleepyhead Anakin and the ever edgy Kalik, alongside more traditional medieval fantasy protagonists, Siegfried and his son, Sean. You know that when your ROM hack gets fan art made of it online, you've done something right and it's being appreciated. The story isn't anything super crazy, but it is entertaining enough to keep players engaged. There is an evil kingdom invading relatively peaceful kingdoms, an older, hardened, famous knight that resides outside of the major kingdoms and is brought back into the fray to defend innocent people and restore a better sense of order, yeah, it's a Fire Emblem story. But this one seems to take more interest in characters beyond the traditional protagonist. Siegfried and Sean play a huge role in the game and are integral to the story, but it's characters Anakin and Kalik that quickly become more interesting and really steal the show. And there's plenty of other great characters too. Some might have less personality and more emphasis on design, but all of the main units in The Last Promise have something cool about them. While I won't spoil the story, it does certainly go to some unexpected places while still being in line with other official Fire Emblem games. Some of the dialogue can be edgy and of its time, sure, especially from Kalik, but for the most part, it's an enjoyable script that has some creative points to remember fondly. Hey, that's funny. That guy kind of looks like, um... Yeah, okay, yeah, that's, that's just straight up Zoro. Cool, okay. And yes, there is eventually a final covenant I, I mean uh, sorry uh, a terminal expectation no I, I mean a concluding commitment oh, I mean a penultimate prospect I, I mean oh, oh sorry guys last promise that pays off by the end of the campaign yes yes in fact the game called the last promise does actually have a last promise in terms of difficulty, it's certainly on the easier side of Fire Emblem ROM hacks, but it does pick up in the final few chapters. There's not a lot of time to train up units that lag behind in between main chapters, so building up a wide cast of solid units is key during the easier chapters. Stopping the Empire of Magnus is easier said than done, and there are some particularly brutal missions that made me consider letting some units die just so I could finish the missions. Because remember, this is Game Boy Advance era Fire Emblem, there's only permadeath here. If a unit dies and you wanted to keep them, you gotta restart the whole mission just to make sure that they don't die when you complete it. And some of these longer chapters near the end of the game are rough to reset, especially if unfortunate things happen late into it. But again, it's not nearly as hard as many other Fire Emblem ROM hacks out there, so at least there's that. There's a lot of secrets and side quests that are hidden pretty well in the game, even with the assistance of a fortune teller to help guide the player. Playing alongside one of the many guides online will probably be necessary if you want to try and complete the game to its fullest on your first playthrough. It's definitely a hack from 2013, so some of the quality of life features you might be used to from either Sacred Stones or maybe more recent Fire Emblem ROM hacks aren't present. But I never really minded, it's still a smooth experience in my opinion.
Visually, there are some things that are changed in the graphics user interface, and audibly, there's new arrangements from other video games done in the Fire Emblem 7 style that sound awesome. Overall, along with some nice character portraits, The Last Promise is an aesthetically pleasing game. And spoilers, this game has a few lines of voice acting in it, which is quite the technical achievement for a Fire Emblem ROM hack. The Last Promise is an epic tale of fatherhood, duty, and choosing to stay determined even in the face of absolute terror. It's not the highest form of art when it comes to its script, but I still think it's worth one's time to see it through till the end. Sure, maybe there's better works out there these days, but user Blazer really pushed ahead and blazed an exciting trail for the Fire Emblem ROM hacks that were and are to come. Promise yourself that you'll give it a try.